Well, the time has come to try the white sturgeon again in a glass tank. They have been uh, marinating in their tank for uh, half a year and we raised temperature very slowly to 80 degrees from about low 60s. And they're doing very well at 80 right now, eating vigorously, preferring even uh, fish pieces to, to pellets, but they take both greedily. So I'm, I want to try them now in the, in the glass tank again, in the rectangular tank. This is the 180 gallon oval tub that they spent six years in. I already turned off the the chiller as you can see. It's running on its own the canister filter. So I'm thinking among all the tanks that we have this would be the best the best match for it. Because the the yields take their time and don't eat everything. Especially the fish pieces, they tend to lay around for a while, giving, this would give the sturgeon a chance to, to eat what they need. The Chinese high bended loach is just a cleaner, pretty much. The only problem in this tank is that uh, Triple G, the gulper, is in here. She's goofy laying on her side or her back sometimes. So I'm thinking of putting her here with Louis the longfish. I know Louis's head can fit in the and a little portion of Louis could probably fit inside Gulper, but not all of it. He's really thick. Of course I don't want even to think that uh Galper will try that. Um, I don't think Triple G will try to eat Louis. And I'm hoping she'll just reside in one of those cavities inside the center block. It'd be better visible than in her log over there. We feed her almost every day with visitors, so she's pretty well fed. On the other hand, I, I'm hoping that Louis will not. He's usually pretty oblivious to his tank mates. He doesn't care about any of them. Never, never attacked anybody. Never beaten anybody that I could witness, except maybe when there is a ball of tank mates like this, yields all feeding together. He may just randomly take swipes at, at that at that moving ball of bodies mixed in with pellets and with fish pieces. So that can happen, but that's. That's not a predatory attack or anything. So that's that's my chain of thought. I want to get rid of that divider, give the sturgeon the whole tank, because they non-stop moving to fish. They circle all the time, all in the tub, all the, uh, in the tub, all the time, just doing doing the laps. There is not any better match from other smaller tanks. I mean, this is divided in three parts, it's not going to work. This is too busy and there's too much furniture in there. And these guys are voracious eaters, so usually food goes pretty quickly. They may not give the sturgeon the time they need to, to feed. Because everything's relative. I mean, sturgeon eat very well right now relative to their former selves, but they still take some time to eat. They're slow eaters, and one of them is uh, a little shyer than the other two. So this tank is, not, is no go, this tank is no go. 
This tank is no go. These children are too too small. These guys are very robust, especially the peacock bass that may try to eat them. This tank is too has too much furniture and too many small fish. I mean, the sturgeon might might do well. Okay, uh, could could maybe do well here, but there's too much furniture. They need free space to to do their laps 24/7, 365. That's why I don't think this tank would work. What else do we have? And this tank sort of could sort of work and usually it takes these guys quite a bit of time to especially the Piraiba, they're so hesitant they're waiting a long time to get the to get the pallets and there's not that much I mean there's some furniture in there but to do the laps along the perimeter I think this children will do just fine and they are of the right size that nobody should prey on them here and they shouldn't prey on anybody here so that's that's a possibility the former jerk tank with one new jerk that's of course a no-go Chinese wells the only thing I can do is put another divider here and move triple G in here that's pretty much all I can use that tank for cannot put sturgeon in here, too much furniture and these are very aggressive eaters they scare each other the way they snatch the food, the peacock bass and the arowana, the I mean all of them are aggressive except for the tigs, tigs are a little chill this tank is way too busy and way too much furniture in there so that's a no-go and the dorado and the Asian red tail that's a no-go, they're all too skittish, the Dorado too skittish and too aggressive and the red tail is also too aggressive not skittish but just aggressive so even though this is more or less a, an open tank this is not gonna work so we're back at two candidates uh, at two candidate tanks either let the tank with with the gulper and the yields be as it is and put the sturgeons in here with the planiceps grow out, piraiba grow out mirror yield grow out and the five timensis grow out nobody really here eats any pellets I want to keep giving them pellets and fish So, but still it's probably doable even if the pellets are not eaten by the sturgeon efficiently or quickly so it's between this tank or that tank where I have to move out the triple G either behind a divider with the Chinese wells or give her more, more space right here and take a gamble cohabiting with Louis the lungfish South American kinda like this this tank better because yields I don't expect yields to bother the sturgeon at all they're kinda busy figuring out their own differences they, they don't bother the uh, high fan when Louis was here they didn't bother Louis either they don't bother the fire yield that's in here now 
So I think that would be would be a good match for a better match in this tank if I move triple G. Better match in this tank than in the other tank. Well, if you could please let me know your thoughts in the comments, your advices, your concerns, or your okays, I would appreciate that. Between these two tanks, which one would you pick and why? Or maybe you have some other ideas about the tanks I just showed you, among the 10 240 gallon tanks. Thank you much in advance.